Hey guys, this is Tim from Helio RC again. This is this is my campfire quad. I built this guy a little bit ago. I love this frame. This is a Truex great, great balanced frame. It's it's fast, it's light. And using this quad, I'm gonna show some differences in the tuning when you change your rates. All right, so this is two different black box logs. Uh, one, I'm running 45p and 20d across the board and we're only going to look at roll uh, for now but I wanted to show you the difference in uh, rates so this exactly same PIDs exactly the same super rate the only difference here is that one is running a 1.0 1 RC rate and the other one is running 0.8 RC rate. You'll notice about the set point rate on the black box logs is it caps out at 865 degrees. Uh, that is not correct for max tip deflection for the rates that I have set up. The rates I have set up uh, actually is 763 on this guy for the um, for the ADRC rate. If you look at this one, uh, it's hitting about 1,037 degrees a uh, second. And the actual rate, the actual rate for max stick deflection on this guy is about 954 degrees. So what we're going to be looking at is those two different values, 954 versus 763. Uh, and so to kind of ignore the flat line here, we get to, we get to kind of extend that in our minds. So what you notice is that the RC rate uh, one that the, when the RC rate drops down, when I do a full stick deflection, uh, P makes the quad follow it pretty sharply. And that's because the rate is high. Uh, it actually follows it really closely. Uh, because P sees I'm headed that direction and I'm going to go really far, really fast over time, so I'm going to move the quad really quickly. And then it ends up overshooting, and if you draw an imaginary line straight across, you'll see it actually overshoots and then comes back, overshoots a little bit more, and then as soon as I go back to mid-stick, it goes right back and overshoots a little more. When I get to the mid-stick, it comes back and still overshoots, and then I start going the opposite direction, and it's luckily already there so uh, it doesn't look like there's that much bounce back but really if you look at the logs this is this is very similar to uh, what you normally see in bounce back because of high P. It moves really fast then it bounces back really fast bounces back really fast bounces back that's bounce back. Now here, exact same PIDs, exact same setup, no filtering differences, anything. The only thing I did was change the rate to 0.8 RC rate instead, and notice that it is now closer. It doesn't bounce back as much. So if you look, because it's 763, notice here 773, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to being accurate, but it does overshoot going out to 831 degrees. Uh, it also doesn't oscillate quite as much around midpoint. Uh, if you turn off or turn back on Expo so we can see where the oscillations are occurring, notice here that it is oscillating a little bit less, still pretty bad. This you can see is overshooting by about 100 degrees per second and over here we're only overshooting by about 60 degrees per second. It all has to do with the amount of P versus D and your rates. So reducing your rates can reduce bounce back. Increasing your rates can increase bounce back. It's going to create a situation where P is trying to make the quad move faster, so you might end up having to tune your pins. 